Hey everybody, here's seven really cute last minute Halloween decorations that you can make from things around your house right now. Let's start with these tin can lanterns. Now, if you have any canned goods at home, you can make these. First of all, you're gonna wanna be sure to get those rough edges off of the tops of the tin cans. And then you're gonna paint the entire can with an orange acrylic craft paint. You don't have to use a primer or anything like that. Then take a black Sharpie marker and start to draw a jack-o'-lantern face on the cans. They can all be different faces if you'd like. They could all be the same, um, but just be sure to fill in the eyes and a mouth, maybe a nose as well, and make it a cute jack-o'-lantern face. Now, these can be used for vases too, if you like, but what I decided to do was to make them lanterns that I could put out on the porch and I use the battery operated tea lights and that way it's just super easy. You don't have to worry about real candles in there, although you could actually use these with real candles too. It's just super cute. And you can make as many of these as you want. Now, if you have a laundry pod container, you can make an easy ghost. All you need to do is take off the labels on the outside of the container and then apply a ghost face. I do have a free template for this ghost face that you can use with your Cricut machine and a black permanent vinyl to get it to stick. And that would be super easy. You could also draw on the same face if you'd like to too with a Sharpie marker. I really love this DIY because it uses something that you have at home. It is Trash Can Ghost. I bought this tall trash can from a thrift store for less than two bucks. Then I just took some black um, duct tape that I had and cut out really large eyes and a mouth. And then you just stick it on the trash can. And that is literally all you have to do. Put it outside. It's waterproof. And after Halloween, I took off the duct tape and used it as Christmas paper storage. Now these are milk jug ghosts, which are super cute. If you have any empty milk jugs at home or in the recycling bin, you can go ahead and make this craft right now. Now I chose to do um, a face with a Cricut permanent vinyl adhesive, and I do have a free template for this. I will put all of those links in the description below. So you would just print out that face and then apply it to a um, milk jug. You can add lights inside. I added some battery operated fairy lights so that the inside of the ghost would kind of glow at night and during the day. Again, you could do this with like poster board, um, duct tape even, felt, whatever you have at home. Also the same with these plastic bottle ghosts. These are so cute. They can be put outside, put inside, wherever you would like. All you need to do is take any type of plastic bottle that you have, all different varying sizes, and you're going to want to just cut off that kind of curved area that goes to the neck of the bottle. Then once you do that, you are just going to um, draw some faces on some felt and glue that on the outside and you're done. Fill it with stuffing. If you have some black poster board at home and tissue paper, you can easily make these owl luminaries. These are so easy to make and I do have a free template. I'll put that link below. So all you're gonna need again, you can even do construction paper if you wanted to or black poster board, but you want to fold it in thirds and that's gonna make that triangle that will stand upright. Now you're gonna trace the template on to that black paper and then you start cutting it out. You can do it with really tiny scissors or a craft knife, anything that you have to get those little tiny details. Then you take a single sheet of yellow tissue paper, cut that and glue that right behind where the template is cut out. Then you have your owl luminary and all you have to do is fold it into thirds again and make a triangle. And then you can put it over a battery operated light. I would not use an actual flame candle with these, but you can make as many of these as you want and you can put them all along your driveway. And now here's a cute candy cooler that you can use to put candy out on your porch so that the kiddos can just grab whatever it is that they would like for Halloween. Now I am reusing a cooler, so any cooler that you have at home you can use. Um, I bought this at the thrift store for just a few dollars, but I mean, it is at the end of summertime. You probably have coolers at home 
that you've been using all summer long. Now you do need some colored duct tape and that's really all you need to make this really cute craft. Um, just decide what type of cooler you'd like. For this one, I decided I wanted a Halloween jack-o'-lantern. So I used orange duct tape and just put strips of that all around the cooler. I didn't paint the cooler because I want to be able to reuse it uh, next year during the summertime and nobody wants a jack-o'-lantern cooler when it's July. And then um, I used some green duct tape and put kind of like a topper on it, maybe the lid, um, just to give it some color interest. Again, this was super easy and you just put multiple layers of duct tape on. For this, I kind of covered over that raised edge just so it wouldn't show through the duct tape, but it's not really that big of a deal, um, you know, if it did or not. After I was done with the top, then I cut out facial features from black duct tape and I made sure to just cover anything that was um, peeking out as far as plastic, just so it made it look really much like a jack-o'-lantern. And I made a couple of these. I made one that looked like a monster. I made one that looked like a jack-o'-lantern. And I just filled them with candy and potato chips and it worked out really well.